Hey guys, so this is round two of my beauty haul. Um, so, next I want to go on to Priceline. Now, Priceline is one of my favourite places to go for beauty because you can get things that are fairly cheap and there is such a big range and I like to get a few beauty tools from there. There's like a um, little section where you can get uh, makeup brushes, you can get like cases as well and you can also get really good bargains too, like they do really good deals. So, firstly what I'll go into, um, when I walked in I wanted to get just makeup brushes because I am doing um, some makeup this weekend and I didn't want to invest in a lot of money into brushes that I didn't quite know too well so I thought I'll spend a little bit of money on some new ones just to get to know them and the ones that I find that I use a lot of the time and that are really really handy then I might go and get something a little bit more expensive you know from Mac or something like that so to start off with um, now what what the deal was is that if you spend over $60 on a certain in, I think there's about eight different brands you can spend over sixty dollars in. You get this bag that is full of beauty, like free beauty products. It's about it's worth about two hundred and twenty dollars. So I was like, heck yes. So um, I don't have them in the packs anymore. But I firstly um, I got these models prefer um, makeup brushes. So I've got a couple of ones in there. So. Good. There's a couple in there, and I love them when they're on you, they're all nice and smooth. So, um, it's mainly face brushes that I've got. Um, I didn't need too many eye, eye ones, but anyway, I spent about $60 just on the makeup brushes alone, so that was fine. But, um, as you can see, I've got mine myself like a little, um, a little uh, case to keep them in, um, um, as a belt because I find with a belt it's like if you're limited for space for setup like if you're going to be doing someone's makeup and you go over their house and where the best lighting is and where they can have a chair it might not mean that you've got space to actually roll out your things and have it all set up so to save a bit of space it's probably best to get a belt one so you can just carry it and you know you don't lose things you can just chuck it straight into your belt and you've got it on you so um, this one was $35 so if you want a really good quality one, the, that like leather or something like that, they can be like over a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars even. Um, but this one is thirty-five bucks, and I mean just for just to keep them safe, I think that's good enough. So th I got those ones to make up my um, sixty dollars, and then what I got is this is the bag that you get. I think that's really cool actually because it's a decent size. And it actually looks sort of quite nice. Like girls will laugh at this, but um, but it looks to me it looks expensive. So I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. But I've always wanted a snake print bag. Anyway, so the lady said that apparently that bag's worth about thirty dollars in itself. Then inside, sorry, I'm going to be bending down quite a bit because it's all over the floor. Inside, I've got um. A few little things so I've got um, a nourishing I've got three in one facial wipes so just a little pack of those there's 25 wipes in them and they're supposed to cleanse tone and moisturize um, and they've got vitamin E and aloe vera so, so that's really good because I need so many of these because I hate as much as I love putting makeup on I hate to hit off and I love using wipes because then I can just wipe it all off I can just be laying in bed and it's the last thing I do just wipe it all off I don't have to fuss around like wiping bits and washing my face and having another go because I missed a spot. So yeah, I love these. So getting a free pack is awesome. So that's that. Those ones. Then um, I got these little nail, false nails. Now what it is, is that it's actually, they're like sticky on the inside. They've got like a clear peel on the inside. So you peel that bit off and then you can stick it on. And yeah, it's supposed to stay on for for quite a while, like, like just like normal ones, unless you accidentally like um, flick something and it comes off. Um, yeah, this they look pretty cute. They're actually they're actually pretty good if you want to wear them, like just chuck them on to go out at night or something like that. If you really don't have time, but you want your nails to look really nice, so they're really cute. I like the little pattern on them. Then um, there's actually quite a few nail items in there, but the second one was 
these nail foils. Now I don't know if you guys have had nail foils but they're, they're also really cool because you can just measure them up to your fingers. Um, now I don't know about these ones but you just stick them on and then you use a file to just file off the ends and then they're supposed to last for a couple of weeks I think but um, yeah they look pretty cool. But yeah those, those ones, I'm not too sure about the colours on them because I mean you can see the swirl pattern there, really cool but on your fingers I don't know if it will show up that much so I might try them someday and we'll see how they go but inside as well you also get the nail file so it's got one side to cut and then the other side is to clean so I think that's really good because they provide you with everything you need they've also got a little cuticle um, pusher backery thingy so yeah you just push your cuticles back with that and then you've got little these tiny little scissors as well to cut them off as well so that's really good because it's annoying having to find you know get all your kit together to prepare yourself to do your nails so it's good that they just give everything to you in this little pack so you just grab the pack and go um the next one i got was this um manicare tweezers now these are little soft touch rubber ones so they, they're quite large so you've you got a good grip on them but they're very similar shape to what um, one I already have which I love and so that must mean that these are going to be absolutely amazing so tweezers are always good even if you've already got a pair that you can really rely on it's good to have a pair if you just want to apply like false lashes or anything like that so yeah those ones that one's cool it's got its own little sheath that you can put it in to keep it safe um, then you get this little Models Prefer sponge. Now, I don't know if you watched my other video, but sponges are really, really good if um, to make sure you don't um, transfer any bacteria like from yourself or to, uh, to another person if you're going to do more than one person's makeup. Um, now, it says to wash before you use them, which is fair enough. I mean, you do that with most things, but... Um, after that, after you've used it as well, um, it says to uh, use it to, it says to wash them as well. So look, this is, um, I think this is one of those ones that you can use quite often because it looks a little bit, it looks a little bit more professional so you can use them for more than one time. But yeah, it says it's good for around the jawline and all that and the hairline. So I'll try it to believe it. Um, also in the pack, <laughs> there was so much in there. I got this new by nature um, little soft focus illuminator. I've tried it out, it's actually really nice. It's liquid mineral illuminator and these guys are doing quite well for themselves. I think they're in like, um, they're like a main supporter of um, Australian Miss Universe or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is a fairly decent bottle, decent sized bottle and it's really nice if you want to pop it on um, before your uh, liquid foundation. So you chuck this on. Um, even I mix a tiny bit with my liquid foundation, so you pop it on and you've got this nice glow as well. So then it, your, face, your skin just looks really nice and glowy and healthy and just really nice and clean. So there's that one. Then we've got this Australis um, Paparazzi Perfect um, Bronzer. It's, it's in the colour Poser. It's high definition blush. Um, and it's got, in, on the inside, it's a little... A few different colours, so you can see, just like that. So you can see there's a few light and dark colours in there, which is good because when you blend it together, that means you've got a few different areas of shading. And if you like a diff, like the lighter colour, or if you like the darker colour, you can focus your brush more on that section, and then just um, pop it along there, or just pop it along the top there, whichever kind of look you're going for. And Australis is really good. I mean, that's, I think it's. It, I, th I think it needs more of a tour cup than what it gets. I mean, I, my favourite mascara is from Australis. I've used quite a bit of things from Australis and they're actually really good. Um, and I think their line of Paparazzi Perfect is um, all this makeup that doesn't shine when you do, um, when you get your photo taken or something. It means, you know, when you get that bit of a shine that's a bit like glare and you've got a white face, even though you've got a ton of bronzer on, it's really, really good. Um, then I've got Mineral Pressed Powder from Natio, I think that's how you say it, so it's just like, it's not really anything, it's just like pressed powder like that, but 
I don't use a lot of pressed powder, but I mean, this would be good to just set a little bit like along your T-zone just to make sure that it, um, so that it, you know, doesn't get too oily. And it's um, in medium tan, the colour. Now, I think, I think with um, each different pack, you're going to get a different colour of everything because I've got these other two things, this um, Revlon lip gloss, um, and it's this, I'm really happy with this. It's a really nice little orange colour. Um, I don't know if you can see it too well. It's, it's called um, Coral Reef, and I love it. It's beautiful. And then Inoxa, you've got a little lipstick in there. So just like that. It's very pretty. And that one's in Apricot Tulip. So those two I could actually use together because they're very similar colours, but I've tried both of them, and I really love both of them. But I'm assuming you don't get the same colours in every pack, so I just got lucky with these ones because I use really bright um, lippies. Then, um, oh, this is a long blog. There's, there's just so much they gave me. Um, then inside you've also got um, a Savvy uh, Brown um, liner, eyeliner. And this one's actually really creamy, so it's not something that you can have to push and drag along because that can be quite painful. Um, but I've used uh, Savvy before as a brow liner and it's it's really really good um there's so many brands out there that are actually really good they're just not as talked up as like Maybelline or anything like that so I've got that one and then I've got um, a model's prefer um, black pencil liner so that's it in there and this one that's also very creamy I, I mean I put it on then and it didn't even take that long to come out or anything like that and then at the end You've got like a little smudger, so that one there. So I keep moving everything. I feel like I'm talking to myself, so I'm not showing much. So you can smudge it quite easily. So I just smudged it all then. But these are really good because then you don't have to fuss around and try and find them in your bag or anything. It's just at the end of it. Now I believe that's everything that I got in my little bag. But stuff that I forgot to mention that I got before is just a little Beauty Essentials sharp knot. Um, I recommend getting a double one because as you can see at the top there's two different sizes and I know not every pencil comes in the same size. You do get little fat ones that if they're like, like a lip crayon or like an eye crayon or something like that. And then I needed to get, um, I also got a mascara actually. Yeah, I got a Max Factor mascara. I don't know where it is. Um, it's somewhere in there, but that's that's what I, I needed a mascara, and I saw that there was one in the pack, so I didn't buy one. Because um, I think with mascaras, if you're going to be doing makeup on people, a lot, I, what I've heard a lot of the time is that it's not generally about the mascara that is the good quality product, it's the actual brush. So if you find a brush that is just amazing, for me it's the Australis one, and it just works really well for you. They say once you've used it up, wash the brush. Sorry, I've got something in my eye wash the brush and then just use that for whatever um, other mascara you buy. You can buy a really cheap one and yeah, just use it that way. But I found something that's really cool. These, um, I needed some disposable mascara brushes. So I nearly got just a basic pack, but these ones, they're all color coded in like four different colors. And so the different colors do different things. So one volumizes, one curls, one lengthens and one defines. I think that is so awesome because when I was doing my beauty course and you had to do people's mascara, it was, you know, they're all the same bris bristles, so you got all the same look to it. You couldn't really have much control over that, but these ones, the fact that you can choose, I think is really, really good. And these, there are five less in here than the original pack that I picked up. I think it was just the Priceline brand one. Um, but the Priceline brand one had 25 and there was it was about $12 and this um, manicare one is was $8 and there's only five less but I mean you get ones that are you know that you've got all those different you've got all those different options for you so I definitely recommend these see once again hmm, too close yeah definitely really cool so I think that's it for me guys um yeah I hope you liked that little one um I'm definitely gonna have to pop into Priceline again and get some nice little freebies but um yeah have a good one. See ya.